If you still believe in Santa and the Tooth Fairy, you'll believe in magic. But what if I were to say that what you're about to see is just pure, unadulterated skill? <laughs> Would you believe me? Either way, we're doing it, and we're doing it right now. Grüß Gott, Yasas, Havideri, Hola, Hi, and welcome to another video in our series 30 Day Magic Challenge. If this is your first time here, please remember to click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. My name's James and this is day number... <laughs> and with where we all are at this time of filming in lockdown, it gives us time to drill down on new skills. During this time, I got to thinking of John Scarney, an American magician and author who, as it has been written, started out learning the ways of the card shop from another, but his mother being adverse to that path suggested that he used those skills to become a magician. And he did. He credits Nate Leipzig for the knowledge he worked on to become a much sought after artist and magician, adept at manipulating the pasteboards and using this to create effects around cards and exposés of those card sharps. Well known in history for the help and advice he gave to those in the American Navy to avoid the card sharps and hustlers of the day. I remember one particular story though, which may be folklore, urban myth, and maybe not be true, but way back in the day, one thing he did do was cut to the four aces from a shuffled deck of cards, something he became very well known for and perplexed many a well-posted magician. Now, this intrigued some of his audience after one show to book him for a private showing in their hotel room. Before he started, they said, just do the ace cutting thing, just do the ace cutting thing. <laughs> so he did. He was asked again, and again, and again, and again, and he did it every single time. The guys who booked him didn't seem to be the sort of people to say no to. You know what I mean? Now here's the thing. They asked him, how was it done? To which he replied that during the shuffle, he clocked where the aces were, and was able through counting the number of cards at which each ace fell, was able to accurately cut that many cards off the deck to find the aces. He also added that it would take someone learning it over 20 years, practicing an hour a day, to get it down pat. His audience looked at him and said, yes, but Mr. Scarney, okay, probably surmising, they could have said, hey, John, you're only, what, 20 years old? So how? There is no way you could have done that. To which he replied, yeah, but I practiced eight hours a day. His attempt, I guess, at being funny, which, <laughs> given the company he was in, could have been detrimental to his health. Well, that's what I remember of the story anyway. Uh, true or not, and if you know, please leave it in the comments below. Now, I've not got the technical ability of John Scarney, Paul Wilson, Daniel Madison, Leonard Green, or Guy Hollingsworth, but I have been in lockdown for many a month, uh, so as we all have, right? But let's try this, a truly shuffled deck. So let's take it to the table.
there we have it. Several hours a day for three months practicing something that isn't magic, but does give that <laughs> warm, fuzzy feeling that magicians love. <laughs> Weird, right? Anyway, our hope is that you enjoyed that. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Now, did you know we're still running a competition to support and promote our brand spanking new YouTube channel? And there's still time to get on board and win a prize. And if you want to watch any more of our 30 day challenge, click on one of the videos over there. Thanks for watching. Take care, look after yourselves. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.